5k subscribers yay so i know many of you like me were just getting on youtube and trying to get our first 1k 2k or 3k subscribers so in this video i'm going to be sharing how i moved from zero to 5k in a couple of months welcome back to my youtube channel here i teach you everything marketing for your product service or knowledge business in today's video i'm going to be dropping the tea and talking to you about how i was able to get 5k subscribers by the time you're watching this video, it will be over 5K, but yeah, we're celebrating 5K subscribers. So I know that YouTube can be hard, right? Because especially for people like me who have a large following on another platform, you know, so on Instagram, I have way over 250,000 followers. So coming to another platform and being humble from zero is a humbling something, right? But however, you have to humble yourself on every new platform because each platform has different rules and you have to understand how it works. So I know many small YouTubers like myself are always looking for tips here and there on how they can grow their subscribers. So I'm just going to share what I have done so far to drive traffic to my videos and to get the subscribers. So truth, I have leveraged my Instagram page. That's it. I'm not even going to say, oh, it's about thumbnails and optimizing, which we're getting that, right? But mostly the traffic has come from my Instagram page. There's so many things I could be doing that I haven't, but I'm just going to share the few things that I have done. Now, the first thing is after each YouTube video is edited, I create Instagram teasers. Okay. So these are maximum of 90 second video that just picks like highlights of the video going up on YouTube and I post it and then tell people to go and watch the, the full video on YouTube. In addition to the teaser, I also create reels. So what you call YouTube shots. So I basically just take maybe two or three um, 60 seconds videos out of that same YouTube video. We chop it off where I'm giving like a hot point and just post it so that it sparks curiosity and people know to go to YouTube to watch the rest of it. We always have an end frame at the end of either the teaser or the reel um, where it says full video on YouTube. And my YouTube handle is there so that if they never read the caption, then they will see where they're supposed to go to um, at the end of the video frame. Now, in addition to that, what we also do is we put the link to the YouTube channel in the link in my bio. Okay, so um, that just helps people who are, instead of them going to YouTube to type my name and look for the channel, they can click the link in my bio and that takes them to YouTube to watch the video. Now, a third thing that I also do is we make good use of stories. I won't say good because we just started. Hey, <laughs> that's something we just started maybe a week or two weeks ago. Before now, we really didn't used to put it on stories, but I've noticed that there's been some, um, a lot of views on my stories. So we're now taking advantage of it where we put a teaser as well or send from the post to the stories and then put the caption and have the link there. So it's easier for people to click the link in stories than to go to the link in bio and start scrolling through. Okay, so if you want people to just go directly to the video, stories is your best bet. You can also just do talking head videos where you're talking and saying, guys, I have this video up. You don't have to pick anything from YouTube, right? You don't need to edit anything from the YouTube video. You can just talk directly to them. Guys, have you seen my video? In the video, I teach X, Y, Z. So summarize what the YouTube video is about drop the link there and then you can post it on your stories. Now, something else I've also done on Instagram, which I haven't done a lot of. So now we're just trying to standardize all the things that we've tried so that we can, you know, like amp up the numbers is the secondary caption strategy. With every Instagram post, there is a call to action. So some of you is engagement call to action. We are telling people to like, to comment, to share. For some people, you are telling them to go to the link in your bio, go to WhatsApp, whatever it is. Now, what I do is, in addition to the primary call to action for that um, post, I put a secondary call to action, which is totally unrelated to the post, right? So I may be teaching something entirely different, how to market your detailed product. And I will put a secondary call to action, which is PS, if you would like to XYZ, 
then I have videos like this on my um, YouTube channel. So sometimes it's related, like what I'm teaching about on the carousel. I may have a video that is not so far off and I can just link directly, even if it's totally different. And even if it's totally different, it's fine, right? As long as it's coming from you and you are also teaching or sharing knowledge, then it is totally, totally fine. And the last thing that we've also done is we send out emails. So I have an email list. Um, so we normally add it as a PS as well, where we're saying, oh, I teach something in the email. And then there's a PS that says, if you want to learn X, Y, Z, um, then you can go to YouTube. Okay, so those are the things that I've done so far that has helped me drive my traffic from another platform here. So I would advise you if you have traffic on another platform, it's fine to bring them from there to come and enjoy here while we build here and then get people on YouTube um, to see your YouTube videos. So some things that I'm going to be doing going forward to get me to 10K, 20K and further um, will be to standardize using stories and just, you know, make it more interactive and engaging um, to create more interesting emails that will go out sending people to YouTube. Um, I would also consider marketing on YouTube itself. So looking for um, pages that, you know, can showcase my videos. Um, I know there are a couple of uh, pages like that that I have seen and I'm going to talk to. I will also utilize YouTube Shorts. So far, we haven't. We have zero shots. Um, we'll utilize YouTube Shorts and a million of other marketing um, ideas that we're going to be learning on how to uh, maximize YouTube. So hopefully you picked a lesson or two. Thank you for watching. Have you subscribed? Guys, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell so that you are notified every time a video goes up on my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, have a fantastic day and toodles.